One Christmas, my family was living in an apartment building that smelled like moldy meatloaf. We didn't have a tree that year, and so my mom rolled out this big long sheet of white paper on the floor, and my sister and I sprawled out, eating popcorn and drawing ornaments and lights on that paper. And when we taped it to the wall, we stood back and we marveled at it because suddenly it had brought Christmas joy to our little space. We got presents that year, but what I remember most is my mom's effort to make us smile in a place that didn't quite feel like home. Fast forward and here I am, a mom of three, stressing out because it's December and I haven't found all the toys on my kids' Christmas list. I'm afraid they'll wake up Christmas morning and feel disappointment instead of joy that they'll remember the Christmas that they didn't get what they want instead of remembering my loving efforts for them. But I'm snapped back to peace when I read what Jesus' half-brother James wrote, that every good gift and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights. The gifts that our Heavenly Father give are the kind that we'll remember, the kind that lasts for eternity because they're made out of His love and compassion joy and kindness, and they're given through his generosity. God's good gifts include moms that lovingly draw Christmas trees on their wall, and neighbors who scoop your snow from your driveway so you don't have to, and grandmas who bake Christmas hams and open their homes to unite their families. And of course, a savior who traded his throne for a manger so that we'd know the Father's love. Let's forget about trying to give the perfect presence this Christmas season that totally leads to burnout and stress. And instead, let's keep a lookout for God's perfect gifts of love. He is the only one who can truly satisfy our hearts and complete our inner wish list 